What is electric potential? In this lecture, I will teach you something very special about electric potential which a lot of people are not understanding. Now to learn electric potential, let me give you one real life example which will make things super easy. Consider a ball present on the ground. We all know that this ball is present in the gravitational field and the direction of gravitational field is downward. Now as a convention, the ground level is considered low potential region so the ball is present at low potential region. Now let me ask you, how can you move this ball up to point X? Well, you exert some sort of force on this ball and you displace the ball to move up against the gravitational field. Thus we say that you have done some sort of work on the ball to move it against the gravitational field. Remember that the ball is now above and the gravitational field so we say that it is present at high potential region. Now listen carefully. We have learned first fact. I mean if we want to move an object from low potential region to high potential region in gravitational field, we need to do some sort of work on the object. Let me repeat it. If we want to move an object from low potential region to high potential region in gravitational field, we need to do some sort of work on the object. Secondly, when we do some sort of work on the ball against gravitational field, as a result of this, this work done is stored as potential energy. So the second fact is, when we change the position of an object in gravitational field in opposite direction, gravitational potential energy is stored in the object. Let me repeat it. When we change the position of an object in gravitational field in opposite direction, gravitational potential energy is stored in the object. Finally, if I release this ball from high potential region, it will accelerate towards the ground. Here is one very very important point. When this ball falls from high potential region towards low potential region, it possesses kinetic energy due to its motion and we can utilize its kinetic energy. Let me repeat it. When this ball falls from high potential region towards low potential region, it possesses kinetic energy due to its motion and we can utilize its kinetic energy. So the third fact is, Objects fall from high potential region to low potential region due to potential energy and we can utilize their energy. To conclude this slide, we learn three important facts. Firstly, we need to do some sort of work in order to move an object from low potential region to high potential region. Secondly, when we change position of an object in gravitational field, gravitational potential energy is stored in the object. Thirdly, when object falls from high potential region to low potential region due to gravitational potential energy, we can utilize its energy. Thus using these three facts, we can easily learn the concept of electric potential. Now what is electric potential? Well, consider electric field between positive plate and negative plate. Remember that the direction of electric field is also downward. As a convention in physics, we consider positive plate as a high potential region and negative plate as a low potential region. Now I place positive test charge at low potential region. Here let me ask you, can you move this charge from low potential region to high potential region? The answer is simple. According to the first fact, if we are interested in moving this charge from low potential region to high potential region, we need to do some sort of work on it. After doing some sort of work on this test charge, it will move from low potential region to high potential region. Here, the position of test charge is changed in electric field. According to the second fact, when position of a test charge is changed against the electric field, electric potential energy is stored in the charge. So here, at high potential region, this test charge possesses electric potential energy. 
नो लिसन केयरफुली दिस इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इनर्जी ऑफ द टेस्ट चार्ज इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल आर वोल्टेज लेट मी रिपीट इट दिस इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इनर्जी ऑफ द टेस्ट चार्ज इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल आर वोल्टेज सो रिमेंबर दैट इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इनर्जी आर इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल आर वोल्टेज आर द सेम थिंग्स इन एडिशन वी आल्सो नो दैट दिस टेस्ट चार्ज विल मूव फ्रॉम हाई पोटेंशियल रीजन टू लो पोटेंशियल रीजन अकॉर्डिंग टू द थर्ड फैक्ट वेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट आर टेस्ट चार्ज फॉल्स फ्रॉम हाई पोटेंशियल रीजन to low potential region due to electric potential energy we can utilize its energy for example when this test charge moves from high potential region to low potential region we utilize its kinetic energy to light a bulb so remember that we can utilize the electric potential energy of this test charge now how can we define electric potential well let me explain it in a very simple way firstly we do some sort of work on the test charge against electric field secondly as a result of this work done the position of test charge is changed and electric potential energy or electric potential is produced in the test charge so it is the work done on test charge that is generating electric potential let me repeat it it is the work done on test charge that is generating electric potential now if i do not do some work on this test charge its position in the electric field will not change and no electric potential is generated therefore we define electric potential as the amount of work done needed to move a test charge from a low potential region to a high potential region against an electric field is called electric potential or voltage or simply remember that electric potential or voltage is equal to work done per unit charge or v is equal to work done on q the s a unit of electric potential or voltage is joule per coulomb or simply volt here let me teach you one of my favorite questions we know that electron is extremely small which we cannot touch or see so how can we do some sort of work or move this electron in electric field well we use emf or chemical battery to derive this electron from low potential region to high potential region so emf or electromotive force is nothing but it derives electrons from low potential region to high potential region or we can say that it keeps the constant flow of current in the electric circuit thus remember that electric potential or voltage is generated when we do some sort of work on test charge to displace it against electric field finally let me teach you one daily life example of electric potential or voltage consider a battery of 1.5 volt a conducting wire and a bulb in this electric circuit now listen carefully according to first fact this 1.5 volt battery means that this battery will do 1.5 joule work on unit charge to move them from low potential region to high potential region according to the second fact we already know that when work is done on unit charge electric potential or voltage is generated so we can observe this electric potential or voltage using voltmeter according to third fact when charges move from high potential region to low potential region they possesses potential energy which we can easily utilize here we will utilize the energy of charges to light this bulb thus it is electric potential or voltage that is lighting this bulb i hope that you have learned all about electric potential or voltage